In Stockholm, Somali immigrants represent 0.84% of the city's population, but 40% of COVID-19 deaths. In New York, 41% of hospitalized COVID-19 patients were obese. In Davao del Sur, one intervention increased the chances of COVID-19 patients having a mild case rather than a critical case by 19.6 times. What ties these three countries together? 71% of Somali women in Sweden are vitamin D deficient. Obese adults in the US are three times more likely to be vitamin D deficient and the intervention in the Philippines was an additional dosage of vitamin D. Now, this is correlation, not causation. But the link is promising. Is vitamin D just a vitamin? No. Vitamin D is a steroid hormone created when the sun's UVB radiations hit our skin, eventually creating calcitriol. This need for sunlight puts certain populations at a higher risk for deficiencies, like those with darker skin, the obese, and even the elderly. But what could vitamin D have to do with COVID-19? COVID-19 triggers our innate immune system, consisting of dendritic cells, macrophages, and monocytes. Examining these cells, you'll notice that they each have a special receptor called the vitamin D receptor. You see, vitamin D acts as a power up, like in Mario, bonding to these cells and morphing them, expressing certain genes that turns them into more efficient COVID-19 killers. As a respiratory disease, the virus enters our alveoli through a gateway the angiotensin-converting enzyme 2. The ACE2 has a partner, ACE. Together, they form a part of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, a hormone system that regulates our blood pressure. Think of their balance in our lungs like a tug of war, with ACE and ACE2 on opposite sides, and the rope being our lungs' capillaries. ACE2 ensures that not too much pressure is applied, while ACE constricts it. COVID-19 destroys our ACE2 receptors, creating an imbalance that leads to pulmonary vasoconstriction and eventually lung failure. Tests on rats with lung failure have shown us that doses of vitamin D can increase ACE2 receptors, restoring balance to our tug of war. In severe cases, COVID-19 can also trigger the cytokine storm. Cytokines are our immune system's messengers, giving it instructions to increase or decrease inflammation levels. Sometimes, this driver of our immune system goes berserk with its foot on the accelerator, sending our body into overdrive. The immune cells that are meant to protect our lungs attack it instead, causing blood to clot, vessels to burst, and patients to die. Here, vitamin D acts like the brakes of this vehicle by upregulating anti inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 4 and down regulating inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 2. Vitamin D reduces inflammation levels, preventing the failure of our immune system. There is so much that is yet to unravel about vitamin D. But till then, one thing is for sure. At 50 cents, this could be an accessible and affordable breakthrough against COVID-19. Thanks for watching.